Hello everybody, welcome to the first of maybe many casts of Division 1 in the era BB. We're in week 5, so there's not going to be that many weeks of this to come. But I quite like the idea. I had the idea, and I'm just rolling with it without discussing it from anyone in era BB. <laughs> hey! Um, I came up with the idea of I'll cast the replays of all of the other Division 1 games. Um, I'm in Division 1, so that, you know, I've got a bit of interest in terms of that. And... Uh, you know, it's quite good, right? Like, it's, I think it's quite good to look around the league and see the other teams and, and coaches and stuff and get an idea of what's going on in the league and stuff. So, I, you know, I'm doing it. It's content, isn't it? There's no, there's no, uh, what's it called? There's no, like, playoffs anymore, CCL playoffs. And, you know, this being Division 1, um, if I end up being critical, it's not so bad, right? Whereas, you know, the lower divisions have some people who are very new to Blood Bowl. And uh, so... You know, holding them to my standard would be a bit harsh, wouldn't it? Now, obviously, I, uh, I've i got a bit of a brain, and I don't do that. But still, you know, there's less chance of uh, offending somebody. I think the people who are in Division 1 probably know that it's, uh, you know, streaming's a bit of entertainment and stuff, and it's not shouldn't be taken absolutely seriously, and etc., and etc. Et so... Here we have Squiggy with his demolished undead team. It doesn't look that bad when you look at these players, does it? But this guy is minus movement to go with his two movement ups. Wow. So he's not actually as good as he looks, this guy. Uh, but he's got two move up ghouls and he's got a uh, really good mummy, an unbelievable mummy. Uh, one of his mummies got killed. One of his whites got killed, but the other one's still good. So, you know, he's got some good players, but... Uh, it's it's a shadow of its former self. He's got a wizard, he's got a bribe, and he's got a babe. So he's got quite a lot of inducements. I think I would have gone for a star just to you know for more more value over the over the game. But um, there you go. And up against King Boo, who has uh, Skaven with four really nice gutters. Obviously a natty one turner, as every every Skaven team tends to get. Uh, I guess one of his storm vermin died recently. He's got a decent one there. He's got some wrestle, some DP, and yeah, obviously most of the SPP on the gutters. And there you go. Uh, Chorfs, Chorfs, absolutely Glorious. just killed, Lord, demolished the uh, undead in game one. I'm so it's a very sad. <laughs> I will defend. Thank you very much. Pistachio 101. Four. Six whole months, half a year, or one and a half beaver pregnancies. Um, yeah, so he's, unfortunately for Squiggy, you know, he, he won the season last season, right? He won Division 1 the season before. So, he's had some enjoyment in the league. But this season was basically a write-off for him after Game 1. Just got demolished by Chalks and... And any hope of him winning, <laughs> winning, <laughs> winning Division One basically evaporated in the first match, and now he's just got to try and like scrape together a team for the playoffs, basically, and try well try to qualify for playoffs, you know, if he can, and try to scrape a team for them as well. I mean, qualifying for playoffs is the main thing for him now, obviously. Like, it's not easy to qualify for playoffs actually. And um, there's the so the way the playoffs is works is eleven teams, and I believe eight qualify for the playoffs. And the top three get buys. I know the top three get buys, and it's either four or five more. I don't know how many more. Sue me. But you know, his team got that gutted that even making the playoffs is going to be tough for him. Um, and obviously, getting a buy is is out. <laughs> He's got to try and scrape seventh or eighth, <laughs> whichever one gets him in. I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, it's br brutal, like absolutely brutal first match. Yeah, unbelievable. And yeah, everything moved to Blood Bowl 3, yeah, unfortunately. Like, uh, there's no playoffs in Blood Bowl 3 until until they have this weird 5k tournament, which I shall be at attempting to qualify for. And, uh, you know, we'll be casting some of probably and stuff. So there you go. And hello, Steve. Big hand. Yeah, it's not what I would have done, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not a right expert anyways. Saying I wouldn't do something isn't isn't doesn't really mean anything with Skaven. I, I just wouldn't play them in general. <laughs> I'm just not a fan. I'm just not really a fan of uh, of Skaven. Like even though they're good, obviously. 
even though they're a good team, I'm not a fan of Necro or Skaven. Despite them both being good teams. I imagine I'm not going to be a fan of Underworld in, uh, in Blood Bowl 3. But, um, yeah. Yeah. It, uh, they mostly are demented. This is the thing. I don't like lying, you see. I don't like lying. Which is why I don't sugarcoat things, because sugarcoating is basically lying, right? And it's like, if I say it's not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad, I mean it. Always. Always mean it. But I mean, this is uh, not what I would have done, but what I would have done. I mean, obviously I'm still good at Blood Bowl. So what I would do isn't going to be terrible. But it's not necessarily what I would do if I played a thousand games of Skaven, right? I have played this week. Yes, Steve, I just put the video on YouTube. Um, it was versus somebody. <laughs> and it was a great game. <laughs> uh, PK83 in his Necromantic. It actually was a pretty good game, so there you go. Saudi Arabian football is, ki is KO'd. <laughs> I mean that's a pretty good that's a pretty good thing, especially as they've got the new World Cup, haven't they? Unbelievable, Jeff. Two heads are all another double. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Like I'd probably just go guard. I'd probably just go guard. But big hands is is certainly uh is certainly like fine, isn't it? Because his edge five is the sacker. So he dodges in with the edge five, strips or wrestles. And then this guy's the recovery with two heads and a big hand. So, like, it's it's not wrong. It's definitely not wrong. Actually, I might have taken it. It depends when I rolled it and what the other players had when I rolled it, etc. It's not bad at all, is it? Big hand, very annoying, yeah. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't only need one agility five on your team. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah, I don't hit the big hand at all. It might even be what I would have done, but I doubt it. I think I'm more likely, you know, go guard or sidestep. Wow. Gets the score in early. So there you go, the wizard, you know, maybe getting some passive value there. Didn't wanna didn't wanna risk uh, any wizard shenanigans. But of course he does have more firepower overall, so Scoring early, not bad at all for King Boo. You know, might get 2 0 up this half even. So. Still a full team, only 11. So he's still got three. Still got three journeymen. Like, his team was wrecked. I mean, an undead team with three journeymen after, like, you know, about 30 games is just wild, isn't it? It's absolutely wild to have four journeymen. Four journeymen. Like, <laughs> this team got. His team just got shattered. <laughs> I, I do not, I do not envy Squiggy this season. Flip me. I wouldn't blame him, you know, for quitting or anything. To be honest, like obviously quitting would suck for everyone else in the league, but so what, right? It's, you've got to put yourself first. That's what I've learned over the years. Took me a lot of years to to learn that lesson, but you know. Put yourself first and screw everyone else. Is the way to be. <laughs> there you go. It goes with a 2D first. I mean, you know, I think 3Ding first with a mummy. Like, I would have tried to set up for, to 3D first, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter, right? You you know, when you roll the dub skulls or the. not, doesn't matter. So, like, it's not, it's not worse at all to start with the dub skulls, really. Maybe it would have been better to have blitzed this storm vermin with the uh, with the mummy, right? I think that's that's a, there's a strong argument for setting up three back with this line, so that he couldn't get a uh, mummy hit because obviously you could three dice him. So I think you've got to do one, right? You either two dice him and try to pom him, but then you probably get fouled. So the, but the fact that you don't want to get fouled, I think the play is definitely to uh, blitz the blitz the blitz, blitz the storm vermin with the uh, mummy. Well, I would have done anyway. It's hard. It's hard to hit him back, right? Because strength six. And uh... wow, 
get to the cars. Like this is just such a good player move, you know. It's his it's his only guard. It's his only only mighty blow. One of two tackle. Like it's a real real good player to remove. Um and he was just exposed there. That alone is probably like, you know, he shouldn't have been exposed, right? He probably you probably either expose this dirty player or you or, or that wrestler or whatever. Oh my god, he just got straight for the ball. Oh, his sure hands isn't playing. Oh my god, he caught it! Oh lord. Wow. And that was just like a 2 plus to hit, wasn't it? So that's pretty, pretty shit from there. <laughs> from, from Squiggy. I wasn't even looking at protecting the ball because I thought he would have protected it, but uh. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2 pluses? Oh no, there's a 3 plus in there. Okay, so it wasn't that bad then. It just looked bad. It looked bad. It looked like it was just a 2 plus 3, but. It was a 2, a 2, and a 3. I mean, a 3 plus is, is a. You know, you can't do much. You can't do much more than that, so. But you know, maybe you should have kept it tighter rather than putting all these three players up. I mean, should have kept it tighter, right? This guard should have been around the ball. At least the guard should have been around the ball. If if only to foul anyone who comes for it. Click rat, click ball is uh, is definitely the play. Yep. Yeah. Oh god. Misclick maybe? Is the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> Get to the cars! Glorious. And the way I say, the reason I say misclick is obviously he could have still hit reached for the foul and then you could have three D'd the gutter. So like three dicing a gutter with mighty blow, pretty good, just quietly. So, um, and there's no sidestep here. Oh, straight in. Straight in, four plus dodge for an uphill. And gets him. My god. We're going full chunter here, boys. That is a nice scatter, though, for Squiggy. Nope. Well, near the tackle, so this isn't terrible. Yet. Okay, now it's not looking so good. Okay. <laughs> oh god. There you go. It's pretty tough if the uh, if the skiv and roll twos and threes. It's uh Yeah, it probably keeps him in there to, to tie up the tackle pommer, right? But um there would have been the option to just go for the three plus and really tighten it up. Yeah, yeah, this is this is just benched for the one turn, yeah. But still, you know, move eight is uh, pretty annoying. <laughs> I've I haven't played I haven't played either yet actually pistachio, so yeah. Celebrating all injuries here. <laughs> Though not the miss next games as much, right? Obviously that would have been amazing if I was gonna play them next, but uh I'll just be playing them some somewhere down the line. Somewhere down the line. Yeah, obviously obviously Squiggy's tactics here should be to foul rats every chance he gets. That's the most important thing. For for, for me. <laughs> yep. Fouling this one. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't object to uh, to the tackle pommer dying. I'd definitely celebrate the tackle pommer dying. You can cast my players, can't it? Is dirty player dying? I'll celebrate. Strength six block money. I mean, I'll celebrate every every good player's death. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll celebrate every good player's death. I'm not fussy. I'll quite happily go against 11 journeymen in every game. <laughs> celebrate all deaths. <laughs> oh dear. If I could be... <laughs> Is this going to be funny? Oh. Do you know what? It's quite funny. I think it's quite funny. But other people might not think it's as funny. And other people might take offence because you know what people are like. So I won't say it even though I thought it was quite funny. So I'm not going to say it. Well done, Jim! Champ. Champ, champ, champ. Has Boo rolled a single one? He's rolled one, but then re-rolled it, right? Because he's got dodge. So he's rolled the odd one, but um, not many, no. Not many. I mean, the odds are, like, massively in his favour in all these things, aren't they? With dodge and mostly needing twos, it's pretty easy. The important thing is, has he rolled double ones or rolled multiple ones in the same turn? And he hasn't. And then instantly a 1 in 3 there from Squiggy, who's had to use all of his uh, re-rolls already. And uh, this is looking like 2-0 at the heart, isn't it? He's, he's in range, isn't he? Yeah. There was an argument in using the bolt there, wasn't there? In fact, just not dodging. <laughs> not dodging, but hitting this guy out of range was a pretty good option. Um, instead of just losing. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I'll be honest, I wasn't watching. But, um... Did he three dice that gutter and not knock him over? We'll never... There's no way of checking. I mean, I can't do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back. He could have hit him. He could have hit him and he just didn't. Oh, that's terrible then. It's absolutely terrible to not hit him. It's just terrible. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you've got to not go 2-0 down there. You've got to realise the chance of you going 2-0 down. Like, that was just unequivocally incorrect. In my opinion. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Without a re-roll. With a re-roll, 8 out of 9 to get Then Obviously, you want to score yourself and stuff. If you want to score yourself, then you probably bolt one of them and blitz the other, right? If you want to score yourself. If you, if you, you know what I mean? Because then it, then, it be then it can be a swing. But even then, without a re-roll, I wouldn't want to try that. I would just take my lumps, you know, end the half 1-0 down and go into the, uh, go into the second half with my wizard. But um, not blitzing the... Not blitzing the gutter there was suicidal. Or suicidal against Rat. Hello, Big Chi Chi. Oh, didn't make that a 3D. Gotta make, gotta make your palm a 3D. You gotta. You can, you can do the, you can do the mummy 3D first. Who only needs one assist to get you the assists for your, for your pommer and then get you, get your pommer a 3D. You just gotta do that. You gotta do that. Division 1, you've got to do that. And I can understand him, you know, being 2-0 down. And his team shattered. And him giving up. <laughs> but, for the viewers at home, <laughs> you have to max 3 dice blocks. <laughs> you have to. Especially with tackle pommers. I don't really love this foul, but it's not wrong, is it? Well, it's wrong to foul with a dirty player, I think. Just because the dirty player's got guard, right? Just because the dirty player's got guard. So, so like, foul it with a Skellington. That you don't care getting sent off. Oh, he's got a bribe. Okay, well. <laughs> I'd still rather save the bribe for the second half, honestly. But, um, yeah, it's... it's like, the thing is, guard's really good. <laughs> like, I'd rather treat this guy as a guard player with a 20 TV tax that can sometimes foul, especially when you've got a bribe, rather than a DP with a 30k tax 
that you can sometimes guard with. Do you know what I mean? So I'd, I'd be using this guy primarily as a guard player. And uh, in that situation, I'd rather foul with a, with a Skellington and have him sent off and keep the bribe for the second half on even. But he's got a chance here, hasn't he, Squiggy? He's got a whole half. He's got the wizard. He can hunt this one turner. In fact, I would just do it. I would just do it right here. Right here, right now. Instantly bolt one you know, bolt him and pom the pom the the, the, the one turner. <laughs> I don't even think that's a bad idea. <laughs> I genuinely don't even think. I genuinely don't even think that's a bad idea. Oh well. It would have been I would have been screwed anyway. Well now you definitely use the wizard. Because that Skaven is going to be somewhere where you can do something. So this makes the instant wizard even better. This makes the instant wizard even better because now you're going to be under the cosh from the opening whistle. Didn't do a whole lot against the Blitz. You know, this guy could have been up here, for example. He's not achieving anything back there. He could have been up here. This guy could have been up here. Um, he could have been there. Could have been better, really. So there was really... He's just got two ghouls in no man's land, not really doing anything. Versus a blitz. Well, now you get to bolt his natty, which is pretty fucking good. <laughs> no! Oh man, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to bolt the natty. You've got to bolt the natty there. I, my opinion. I bought this natty all day. It's a natty. You get to you get to free up the pommer, which he hasn't, but he could have done. Like it's not good, obviously hitting with a loner. You'd have to hit with two loners, but he he could have set him up so that if he got a blitz on, he, you know, he could have put him between the mummies or whatever, and then he could have freed him, and then he could have blitzed one of these with a with a pommer, block him with the ghoul. And then this guy comes in and picks it up. And then, like, you knock over all, all three gutters, right? Knocking over all three gutters is pretty good. Um, I don't know. Probably just, like, keeps him tagged and kind of force of, force of habit. Like, I did it. I did a terrible scatter in my game. Oh, my God. I did such... I did, like, the worst... The worst scatter I've done in a long time. You just kind of think. See there, there you go. So the one in nine to free the to free the tackler wouldn't have worked anyway. So there could have been a bit of a better, a bit of a more resilient setup against uh, against a blitz or a perfect defense to free the white, and a bit of more of a defense against a blitz. Because you know you've taken out loads of his players now. So as bad as Squiggy's team is, it's not looking actually that bad for him. Oh my God! There's the double one. No, it's not a double yet. It's a three plus as well. Flip me. So there's the one in nine. And now he's gotten away with it anyway. He's gotten away with it without using the wizard. But the wizard ain't doing anything for you. You know, because you are... Uh, because when are you using it? So... You know, unless, unless something bad happens. Like, you can't score early. <laughs> you can't score early. You can't win this game. Actually, you just can't win this game. You can't win. You're 2-0 behind. So you just can't win. Already you can't win. So, you know, that's why he should have blitzed the, the Skaven, the Gutter in the first half. Or used the Wizard in the first half to try and get rid of both to try and get the, the, the score in his own drive. Um... The sound effects might be off the air because Poggle would try to ruin the start of my stream <laughs> the other day. <laughs> oh, they're not off. No. I've got to turn them off for the first like minute of a video because uh, otherwise people can do sound effects. No, they're not on. They're not on. Right, they're on now. Um, they're on now because otherwise people can use them right at the start of the stream. I've just been so fucking obsessed with rats that and then I get demonetized. And, you, and like you can't Which isn't great. Your fight with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why I mean, I could censor them all. Fucking rats. Jesus Christ. I could censor them all and and not have any swearing on my stream ever. But I quite like swearing. 
Oh man, go for a 4 plus dodge. Fails it. He's not afraid to use his uh, gutters, is he? Uh, King Boo, you know, like he's he's a bit chuntery in that he likes to he likes to get them in the mixer there. Roll dice with the gutters. Um, it can cost him, can't it? I mean, it can cost him in his way of lives. That's the problem. It already has cost him this game uh, with that guy getting minus movement. But obviously, gets you wins as well. It's not just wrong to do that. It's not just wrong to play like that at all. But um, it, you know, if it if it works, it's good, isn't it? But if it doesn't, like I do, I don't really like it. I like it less in a league, right? Because in a league, I want to build a really good team. And to build a really good team, you need to keep your players alive, even the rubbish ones. This is a big one dice. He's got to re-roll it as well. Okay, it doesn't. Well, I guess there's no. I guess there's no uh, guard, is there? The guard's all the way over here, so it's only a one d. But I mean, he's not afraid to go for the one d. So I don't know why this guy isn't over this side more, because it's easy to just tag him out or, or get an assist either way. Oh, King Boo out of rerolls already, turn 11. But I quite like going for that strategy of, like, you know, put everything in early. Um, in a way. <laughs> and get the turn over. Like, if you're going to use them all, like, you know, if you're going to do it, then do it like that, I think is okay. If you're going to commit, fully commit. But, um... No, oh, Fireball! Gets a KO. And that's okay, but it gets the ball, so pretty great, pretty great fireball. Yeah, exactly. If you go three and up you don't need rerolls at all. I mean, you know, I would have played it safe, two nil up, you know, and and be pretty happy that I can't lose. But throwing the kitchen sink at getting the three nil. Or at least disrupting them long enough so they definitely can't get two. It's totally fine, it's just a bit dangerous for your players, isn't it? And if there's one thing if there's one thing that I've done in Aero BB, it's protect my players. <laughs> Not perfectly, of course, I've made the odd mistake. But it's been very much in my mind most of the time. I'm trying to protect my players. Well, leaving the ball on the ground versus rats. It's, it's an interesting decision. I think you've got to go for the pickup or like get somebody to try and stop it. Like, it doesn't matter how bad the dice are. You can't just let them... Let them try, I think. It's just too likely. You know, it's too likely for Skaven to succeed anything. That's the problem. The problem is no matter what you do against Skaven, it's just too easy for them to roll some, some dice. So I feel like I don't just have to play conservatively. I have to play ultra, mega, unbelievably conservatively because it's just so likely for them to roll some dice. Who can say? <laughs> it's my own. <laughs> I mean, obviously it would suck hitting. So, hey, I can pause it, can't I? So what I would have done is get this white, the mummy in here, hit with the uh, loner, right? Which obviously isn't great. Obviously isn't great hitting with a loner. Yeah, isn't great hitting with a loner. Might not work. But if you push him. Then this guy gets to hit the the natty and kill him, and that's brilliant, isn't it? It's brilliant killing a natty. That's fun. That's the best thing you can do in Blood Bowl. And then he could punch him. He could come in for this assist instead of the ghoul standing up. And then you can push him, and then the ghoul can come up and go one, two, 
three, you know, something. Well, if he, if you if you blitzed him, then he can go one, two, three, four. G if I'm picking up. Take the both down. Get some cheeky cards. Oh no, Kaz is himself. <laughs> Classic. Classic take the boat down versus armor seven and Kaz yourself. Wonderful. Is King Boo gonna disengage now after seeing his life flash before his eyes and his uh, tackle palm nearly his his natty nearly getting tackle palm? <laughs> My first move would have just been 3 plus 2 plus run into the corner. <laughs> A million percent. <laughs> I guess, yeah, you could do that one first because it's a 1 in 36. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. He's off. He's off. Oh, it's two heads anyway, so it's just a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, so there you go. Get the fuck away. Yeah. That's the play. That's the play. Run the fuck away. Oh man. And by going for that first, it means he can uh, he can punch this gal and get uh, get another gutter to safety. Yeah, he's up two nil, yeah. I would have I would have pulled the uh, I would have pulled the escape hatch a little while ago personally. <laughs> Blitz. Can't three D him. You could hit there first, right? So I, you know, I know he wants to pick it up and stuff, but I guess he's lost interest, right? He's two 0 down. He's not even moving anyone else. So there's nothing to analyze. But could have done this two D hit, and then if he gets the power, uh, blitz with the mummy to three D this guy. I mean, three D this guy is pretty good, isn't it? Getting SPP. He wants SPP on this mummy, so I think. Getting a 3D mummy blitz was absolutely correct. But yeah, people aren't trying to play correct 100% of the time. You know, people people get emotional and uh, and kind of like tap out of games. Whether they're winning or losing, like you know, not just when they're losing, you do it when you're winning as well. Like I played, I played really sloppy in some games. Uh, my fumble cup game the other day, I played really sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after I made the ninth cast, <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't too focused on playing perfectly. <laughs> Ooh, a blitz. Um No, yeah, no, I wouldn't bother trying. There's no point here fine. He's got no rerolls, right? If he had rerolls maybe because it's more SPP, but it depends if you could get to another skill or not. So he's seventy six. So if he had rerolls, I'd totally go for it. Man, the ball and chain, yeah. The ball and chain. He had to roll a one in three five times. <laughs> five times in a row. He just had to go fully diagonal. I'm like, oh, that'll be easy. And then rolled it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. About one in 250 chances. I don't know, but it was it was funny. It was a funny. It was a funny occurrence. Right, so there you go. That was the match. Um, a lot of dice roll by the rats, didn't he? He was very. He was very. Uh, he was very chunter like. Um, you know, went for a. Set got seventy five percent dodges, but was going for a bunch of three plus dodges. Was trying. Uh, trying adventurous plays. Uh, twelve out of twelve GFIs. Try for some adventurous players, go you know, ballsy ball sacks, recoveries, all that kind of stuff. And that's it. If they if they go like that, it's it's very, very hard, very hard to play against them, isn't it? So there you go. Um 
Oh yeah, the last was was or was it Dementor? Oh, I, I thought I thought they all had to go the same direction. Oh well. Um. Anyway, right, that was a match. Um. Yep. <laughs> Congrats to King Boo. Commiserations to Squiggy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.